Hi everyone, let's begin how we can read normal distribution Z table. That's the most difficult part, how we have to read what where our values are falling. So this is the normal distribution curve and we can see these are the critical values. This is the 90% confidence level. Here is that is the acceptance level. Beyond this, all these values, if your values are falling in between 1.645 to minus 1.645, so that means this is the acceptance region. Beyond this, if your values are falling beyond 1.645 and minus 1.645, that means this is the rejection region. Same is applicable here, 95% confidence interval. Now you can see minus 1.960 till plus 1.60. In between this area is the acceptance range, acceptance area and beyond this that would be your rejection area. And same thing that is applicable on 99% confidence interval level, minus 2.576 and plus 2.576, that is your acceptance region. And beyond this, that would be rejection region. So with the help of the one example, we will try to understand how we have to read normal distribution Z table. So this is the one of the very interesting example. Management claims, here is, I'm going to use PAN also, here is. Management claims average salary of students placed at a particular university is 6.2 lakh per year per student. The population standard for the population is given to be 0 0.8. That is our standard deviation. To test the assertion, a student collect the sample from 25 students. What is the sample size? N would be 25 students. Average salary for these students was 6.5 lakhs per year for this sample. Determine if the assertion of management are valid at a confidence interval of 95% interval level. So now, how we are going to proceed? There is one particular formula. Here is how we are going to calculate observed value x minus mu divided by standard deviation and divided by under root m. So we will put all the values. We can understand what is x mean. x mean means sample mean. So here is you can see x mean already given. That would be your 6.5. That would be 6.5. Right. Mu is already given in this question. So, mu means we are talking about 6.2 already given. So, mu is given and as well as if we will talk about standard deviation. So, standard deviation means here is already given 0 0.8. Right. So, all these three values are given and what would be n? n means total number of sample and already we had picked up 2525 sample. Right is the number. So all these values we will put here, right? That would be 6.5 6 minus 6.2 divided by 0 0.8 divided by under root 25. So that would be the 0 0.3 difference of this and 0 0.8 divided by 5. And now this is the final Z value. That is our calculated value or we can call it observed value. So, how we have to reject or how we will accept our null hypothesis? Null hypothesis said, null hypothesis said, there is no difference. Whatever the university is claiming of that particular salary package in lakhs per annum. And what is the sample, right? What is the sample mean? So, average salary claimed by the university and average salary actually those are the sample students they are getting. There is no difference. 
So that would be your null hypothesis. Alternate hypothesis means, yes, there is a difference. Whatever the university is claimed, we are giving 6.2 per annum salary and students, whatever they are getting, there is a difference. So whether null hypothesis would be accepted and alternate hypothesis would be rejected. How come we will decide? So you have seen this is the Z value and now we will go back. You can see 1.88 and at 95% confidence interval. So you can see here, this is the chart. This is the 95. This is the range. If our values are falling in between both these range, that means null hypothesis is accepted. So our value is 1.88. You can see here, our value is 1.88, I think, if I'm not wrong. Oh, yes, 1.88. And 1.88, that is below this 1.960. So that means our, here is, we can say, null hypothesis is accepted. What we have to say, or we are failed, we, rather than we have to write, fail to reject null hypothesis. We will write, fail to reject fail to reject null hypothesis, right? We are failed to reject null hypothesis. So this is the one of the way how we can calculate whether the are null hypothesis accepted or rejected. Now, how we have to read table value? So you can see here, this is our table. This is our normal distribution Z table. And now you can see my value is 1.8. Right. And rest of these things, where we have to see 1.88. So we will see 1.8 in our vertical thing. Right. This is the and where we have to see 0 0.08, 0 0.08, because rest of the value, then it will become 1.88. So we would find out 1.8 in 0 0.08. Right. So what we have to do, this is 0 0.08. Right. So 1.8, we will find out this value, right? What is the value you can see here? This is the value. What is the value? 0 0.04699. 0 0.04699. Now, what we have to do? How we have to calculate p-value, right? So p-value, how we are going to calculate, you can see here p-value. We will calculate p-value. Here is in this normal distribution curve, that is the normal distribution curve. And this is the, this is the point you have seen. What is the value? 0 0.4699, 0 0.4699, right? So let's say this is the rejection reason, right? So what we have to do, we will do minus 0.5 because total area from the midpoint, right? 0 0.5, that is our p-value is the 0 0.4699. We will minus it. So whatever is the left out, that would be somewhere is 0 0.03, if I'm not wrong, 0 0.03. And after this, or we can use our calculator also. You can cross check, right? So 0 0.03. So what would be the p-value? P-value would be now here is 0 0.03 multiplied by 2 because 0 0.03 this side and 0 0.03 towards the this side. Multiplied by 2. So it will become 0 0.06. And this value, we can say 0 0.06, that is greater than 0 0.05. Thumb rule said, if your P value is greater than 0 0.05, so that means we can say, P value greater than 0 0.05, that means null hypothesis. We are, we fail to reject null hypothesis. And in that case, 
we can say null hypothesis we have failed to reject null hypothesis so what we have to interpret we will say management claims average salary of students placed at a particular university is 6.2 lakh per year per student and whatever the sample we have got those students also having the same salary so there is no difference so that means management claim is correct finally we are going to interpret so i'm sure how we have to read this normal distribution z table that would be clear to you so thank you keep watching i hope this video would be helpful to you